Okay. Here they are. I just got this one sitting here for uh, testing so I can work on it. Here's a little bitty one. This is made from a 350 watt scooter motor, electric scooter motor. And it's just a plywood frame on a wheel swivel with two foot two foot blades for about four feet or maybe they're a foot and a half I don't remember but and it's mounted on a uh, the blades are mounted on a, a sanding disc I took off an old sander so it doesn't have any furling capabilities or nothing I just want to make sure it would spin and charge this is the one that all the work went into and it's on a galvanized one inch pipe with a nice swivel here. I gotta climb up here. So it's gonna swivel. And I got some pretty thick wiring for it. Anyhow, let me get up here so I can see it better. Oh. This is the uh, compression brake, I guess you would call it. And I haven't located a good spring, so I just got a uh, like a rubber band thing around here to hold the tensioner tight. And it spins pretty good. Everything lines up. This is a sprocket from the 10 speed as is the bottom one. They both came off the same bike as did the tensioners from the derailleur. And this is a uh, treadmill motor 115 volts. I'm not sure of the amperage. It never did say on it. Whoops. Not good stuff over. And I got the pipe the frame coming out a little bit of an angle so I can run the furling out offset like everybody likes to have. When I push on the, when I clog up the pipe or the uh, fitting there it does slow it down quite a bit. Maybe not as much as it should but it should help slow it down. So you can see the tensioner moves a little bit in and out because there's a little bit of run out Nothing's perfect. <laughs> and I haven't got that part painted yet. But here's all the information on the, for the motor itself. I don't know if you can see it because of the glare. I'll try to block it out. It's one horsepower, 3,000 RPM, which is why I had to get a gearing system on here because these blades will never spin it that fast. Of course, I don't need to go to 115 volts either. I only need to go to about 14, which it should be pretty good, but we don't have any wind right now. Oh, this one's starting to get a little wind here. Real chintzy setup. But that's a aluminum disc. And I just drilled some holes into and bolted it on there. Nothing fancy on here. But uh, the, this used to be a, a wheel assembly for a big toolbox. So it has ball bearings and it spins nice. And my guy wire, of course, is not really hooked up right. Because this is just temporary until I get out to my desert property. I'm just getting everything ready. So this one spins really good at low low wind. It spins real good, but this is kind of wobbly, as you can see. Oh, there it wants to go a little bit. And that, you can see from the palm trees, it's not really a lot of wind right now. 
it doesn't take much to get this one going at all. And I kind of like the two blade system because they're easy to make out of the PVC. And it spins okay. It's not like I think it'll take a halfway decent one to get it going, but the uh, flywheel on here was a big six inch flywheel and I actually took a hacksaw and cut the, the front part off that slides onto the shaft and it's got a uh, Allen wrench assembly just to tighten and squeeze it onto the shaft so, but that's the way it came so I just cut it off right here mounted a gear on there the poor 10 speed is <laughs> completely in parts now that's okay, I got a few of them. Ah, there's my little crappy work area back here. And the base, the actual uh, thing is sitting on part of a table saw that didn't work and I chopped it up for the metal to make the plate that sits on the, when it's galvanized. So scrapping everything I can including the nuts and bolts that came off the table saw so the only thing I had to pay for was the galvanized threaded pipe it was kind of expensive but I want this thing to last a long time but if you can uh, think of a better way to do this tensioner setup I'd be interested in hearing about it Let's see if we can get this one to go a little bit these blades are made to go counterclockwise. So I guess that aluminum plate acts a bit like a flywheel. I don't know. It spins good though. So anyway, that's where I'm at right now. Probably not the best video because I'm not really a video producer. But anyhow. Alright, generator dude. Let me know what you think, okay? Ciao.